This video is going to show you how to use the shape tools Dragonfly to crop a dataset. First we create a new dataset by this menu, create a dataset. So we are going to use the shape tool to crop this new dataset. We could check the dataset in 3D and 2D views. First, we use the box, the box shape. To create a box, the default of the created box is invisible. So we need to click the eye icon here to see the box in the viewer and we could change the box size of the box now we don't see the clipping in 3D because we haven't applied this box to the dataset so we choose visual effect to which dataset we want to apply this box for clipping. So we check this dataset and we check clip. Now we see the clipping and we could check the outside or not. If we right click the box we have a menu called extract structured grid then we could give a name for the new dataset like corrupt dataset and which dataset we want to corrupt from now we have only one so um, it will be selected automatically now we click OK then we show a dataset which we just created and this is the one we cropped from the original now we're going to see other shape for example the sphere we could create a sphere Okay, we delete the box first. Now we focus on a sphere. We could change the size of the sphere by dragging in 2D or 3D. And it's same, we need to apply this sphere shape to the dataset. We check the created dataset and clip. If we clip inside, we don't see it in 3D because it's covered, it's blocked by the original volume. And we check the outside, we'll see the cropped volume inside. However, if we right click the sphere, we don't see the extract, extract, read menu because it's not, it's not available for this version of Dragonfly. But we could do that by installing a plugin through the Infinity Toolbox. So now we are going to show that we click the tools menu and find the infinity toolbox which is a web store for plugins and many more. So we could install the extension for Dragonfly from a menu to lookup table or deep learning 
models, pre-trained deep learning, deep learning models. First, we need to sign in. But if you haven't created an account, so you need to create a new account. Now I just sign in using the support email address of our for the terms we click OK accept now I have login as Dragonfly support account to the Infinity Toolbox. And what I'm going to install is a menu item. So I click menu item and I found this one extract structure grid from shape. So I click this and I could install this plugin for either all users or the current users. So I install it for all users now. Um, this is not very normal. It asked me to log in again. Well, I could log in again. Normally we don't see this again because we just log in. So I just log in again and I click all user again. Now it shows thank you for downloading this plugin and done. It's already been installed. However, it's not it's not be valid or available right after you install this. So we need to restart Dragonfly. Now Dragonfly has been restarted. Then we repeat, create a data set, and create a sphere shape. make the shape visible now when we right click the sphere shape we have the new menu we just installed from the infinity toolbox so we click this we give it a name corrupt by sphere applied to the data set we want crop okay now we see the crop new data set after we installed this plugin from the infinity toolbox this menu is also available for the capture a cylinder. Thank you for watching this video.